In this module, we will see the model matrix for the two group comparison. As we know, we have already seen that the linear models that are presented by the Lima package, they are very versatile tools because they can find the solution for a very complicated experimentations. And this Lima package, we can, we have to draw the model matrix first. And then after drawing the model matrix, we use some coding in the R and then we will proceed further. And fortunately, the Lima matrix, uh, Lima package can be used for both the one color and the two color data, uh, data for the agent. And when we use the R package, in the R package, there is a command known as model matrix. And by using this command, it is very easy to formulate the uh, model matrix for any of the experiment. For example, if we want to compare the control experiment with the treated samples, we can do this very easily by using the Lima package and by formulating the model matrix. So we assume that we are uh, comparing these control and the treated samples by using the FE metric chips. And there are three samples for the control and the three samples for the treated samples. After running the FE matrix experiment, we have to do the normalization by using the RMA method. So the resulting matrix that is uh, produced after the normalization, we will get the three first column for the control experiment and the last three column for the treated samples. After obtaining these six columns, we have to do the coding that is uh, coding information in the R and the easiest way for this coding is to produce the vector that vector enter one entry at a time for each column. So because we have uh, six columns and we can use the code C and T that denotes the C for the control and T for the treated samples. And because we have the six samples, three for the control, we use the 3CCC and 3TTT. And we use this command groups and then we uh, use this one as a coding. Then after coding, we, we, we have to generate the uh, model matrix so that we can process it further. And for this purpose, we have to use the linear regression and we use this linear regression because we want to know the which, where the linear regression crosses the x-axis. And we also note that if we use the linear regression, it only estimates the effect of every variable. So, in the linear regression, we have the one variable that is the groups that we have already indicated that we have the two groups control and the sample. Now we have to make the decision whether we have to add any intercept in this linear regression or not. So our decision should be that we have to add the intercept because we do not want to assume that the gene expression would be zero when the group is control. To create such a model matrix, one needs to give the following R commands. First, we convert the vector groups into the factor groups using the command as dot factor. So this is not essential here, but if we use numeric code for the groups in the first place, and especially if we have several groups to compare, the vector needs first to be converted into factor in order to build the correct model matrix. The factor is then subsequently used to create the model matrix using the command 
model matrix and then codes and we can use this command groups this as dot factor and then design and then we will get the model matrix so here we will after using that commands we will get the this table with the six values and with three values for the control and the three for the treated samples and if we use these commands attribute and we will use the argument assign and we assign 0 and 1 to the intercept and the group 2 and then we use the contrast and further there is one row in the model matrix for every sample in the data set there is an intercept that is the intercept we have already added which is just a column filled with one and another column group 2 which specifies that we want to compare treated with the control group this is a general feature of the model matrix and the baseline group is coded with zeros and the group that is compared to is coded with one so these are control and these are the treated samples